Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Pokemon Go wrap up video. Um, so today we're going to be talking about, I guess, uh, the Team Go Rocket event. Um, so the the you know TLDR version of this is um, I really really like this event. I honestly think it's been like my favorite event probably since like those original sort of raid days for um, Articuno, uh, Zapdos, and Moltres um, with the shiny version was first released. Um, that's possibly, um, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, yeah, it's the weather's been miserable and I've been doing a lot of walking um, over the last few days. Um, anyway. Let's do a wrap up in terms of how I went um, during the event. So spoiler alert, um, very well. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm not sure whether I called it out in my last video, I don't think I covered it, but essentially um, for week one, I got a shiny Pikachu and a shiny Bulbasaur. Um, I also got a 100% Pikachu, Balloon Pikachu, so not too bad. Um, so we go through with day one, um, which was the 10th, um, we got the Sneasel, the Gligar, which I believe was like, um, I usually start work at 9, and I went for a walk, um, grabbed a coffee and all that, and I got the Sneasel and the Gligar. Now Gligar obviously was not an event spawn, um, but it was just naturally on the map and I got it. So I got my first Ekans, and FYI, um, that was my first Sneasel Shiny ever as well, believe it or not. Um, I went back out at night after work, um, we got the Skorupri, again, uh, that's my first Shiny Skorupri, and as I was heading home, I got myself a Shiny Lickitung, now I have like two or three of those already from, it was like a, sort of like a three hour raid event, right, potentially, I can't remember that event. Next day, I picked up my second Sneasel. Um, so only one shiny a day. So day one, five, day two. Um, we had the second Sneasel. Uh, day three, this as I was heading out for the Go Rocket Takeover event, um, you know, I spent the first sort of 10-15 minutes TMing frustration off all um, the Pokemon that was relevant. Probably could have done it off that one because that would have been a very baller one just to like flex with. Um, but yeah, like I hear that little spawn sound, I'm like, oh god, it could be a shiny potential. Um, so that's how I started off the Sunday. Um, heading into Monday, once again, um, walking down um, to one of my local cafes to grab a coffee. Boom. Uh, Monday morning, grab myself my first ever shiny Poochiana. And then um, Tuesday, right? No, same. Monday um, afternoon, I think this was, or evening, um, I got myself my third Shiny Ekans. Um, and then 14, so this was about 30 minutes before Zubat Spotlight Hour um, occurred. I was just sort of doing a bit of a loop. Um, and what do you know? Shiny Meowth. Now, I did not get a Shiny Zubat. I still don't have one. And then right on, bear with me, so if we go here, we're right on the stroke of midnight, so technically today, um, but it was before I went to bed, um, I just finished doing a, uh, a Go Rocket Balloon, the one that spawned at midnight, it was, whoop, it was a um, Wobbuffet, I'm like, oh, again, my incense is nearly done, I'll just tap away from the encounter, tap tap on whatever Pokemon's just spawned. Boom. It was a Grimer. I've renamed it. My surname is actually spelled that way. Um, so obviously when I was in primary school and the early years of high school, um, it was kind of like a nerd joke where nerds were like, ha ha ha, your name is Grimer. When are you going to evolve into Mark? I mean, yeah, what can you do? And then, um, now Rattata's not mine. Um, um, Amore actually got it 
couple months back. Um, I was doing the raid hour with her tonight, and just, you know, she sent it across to me because I, I was about to do a video, and it's like, hey, yeah, get that one in there as well. So, let's just tap on this sneasel. Let's see how we go overall. Bear with me. Boom. Alright. Let's just cover up the game for a second. Um, and this is essentially sort of the Pokemon that we've identified that spawned um, very frequently um, as part of the event. Obviously, Weedle. I have 20 plus of them from Community Day. Uh, Rattata I now have thanks to Amore. Ekans we have three. Uh, Nidoran female I believe I only have one. Um, but you would have seen that over in a previous video. Nidoran I've actually gotten well two Nidorans and I've gotten one Nidorino uh, shiny with the party hat so I have all three in there. No Zubat. Venonat I have like three odd. Didn't get it in this event though. I wasn't really tapping on it so my, my strategy is basically um, if it's um, you know, if, once I get a few of them, I just stop tapping on them because I don't want to waste my shiny luck. Meowth in the decks for the first time. Um, Alolan Meowth, I actually I believe I hatched it back in about March. Um, but Marchop, you know that I have it. Grime, I showed you that I got it. Still after that coughing. And 9 pm, we should get the additional balloon spawn, so I'm hoping for one last chance of. Um, shiny coughing shadow um, well it's going to be far harder to get the Meowth balloon after this event I still don't have a Murkrow we have two or three Sneasels I think now uh, Houndor I have Poochyena I got this time Scorapi I got this time and uh, Krogunk I don't have so all in all um, I was able to take a lot off my list uh, which is why I'm sort of declaring this one of my favourite events ever um, Anyway, how did you guys go? Um, I frankly loved it. <laughs> I've already mentioned that a few times. Um, but yeah, shout out to my friends over in the Inner West community who have been super supportive um, during this, as well as my crew um, in Sydney Pogo. Um, shout out to, to Min. Oh my goodness, what's his name? Um, that little, little guy. What's your name? I'm gonna find out your name so I can give you a shout out live on stream. It's Luke, right? Actually, I'm gonna hop back into the game and give it to you live. So, um, in case you don't want your real name reviewed, he's like X Smash or something like that, right? X Smash Bros X or Smash Bros with X's on both sides. All right, mate. Here's me opening up your gift um, live on stream or well, live on video, not live, recorded. Um, bam, we're almost great friends. See? Um, oh, I should have sent you a sticker. Um, shout out to him as well. Um, anyway, tap shiny. Nah, anyway, whatever, we'll run away from that. I don't really care. Alright, so. <sighs> so my last sort of closing thoughts are, let's go into um, what is the event starting on Friday. Um, so obviously it's, is it like, Lily Up is a, oh sorry, Petal is a, a new Pokemon that's being released. It's a Gen 5 Pokemon. Making its debut, um, the summer style Pikachu, which I believe is like, yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah, this one, right? Maybe, or is it this one? There's like a few different versions. I think it's this one though. Um, but anyway, and shiny Bell Sprout will be introduced. Now, what it says is like summer themed Pokemon, and. Um, if we tried to sort of um, predict, what I'm predicting is probably um, I see Bellsprout being an obvious um, candidate because it's in there, sorry, but Oddish will be an obvious example in my view. Um, I was going through and there's not like a lot of 
grass Pokemon. Sun Kern, I imagine, is one. And then it's very summer themed. Oh, maybe Seedot, but it's just had a community day. I really hope not. Um, other than that, given I, I'm not really include considering bugs just because I'm just tapping on a spawn. Um, it's because we've just had that bug out event recently. And so my other sort of thought is like, well, maybe it'll be like water Pokemon, which I'd be kind of excited for. So it's like, like yeah, Poliwags. Um, what else is it? Ooh, Ponyta, Fire Pokemon. We'd love to see that there. Um, I don't have that one yet. Um, Horsey, very summer themed, right? Maybe. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on that, maybe. Um, who knows? Uh, I'm trying to be very strategic around um, how many gifts that I send, etc. My thoughts are like, send a bunch of gifts. 11 p.m. on the Thursday night and then people will open them um, and then send them back to me after the event starts. It's going to be, I imagine, very um, buddy up themed. Um, so uh, buddy Pokemon and uh, friends in game. Um, anyway, I'm waffling a bit, but um, yeah, really love this event. Let me know how you went because um, I'm pretty happy with how I went. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you next time for our next video. Peace out.